uh, power and uh, internet problem. Though I think I have a uh, good internet, but uh, you know, uh, uh, a good internet without power, it's nothing. So I've just been managing. Now I, I think I understand your, uh, you guys are uh, complaints about power here in Nigeria now. So I'm here and I've been facing it. So uh, welcome everyone. Good morning. And uh, uh, we are still here uh, week 11 and you all know uh, what is supposed to be done. And that is the, the real life uh, application of what you guys have been learning from day one. So now this is uh, uh, the impact of COVID-19 on food and air quality in Africa. I believe you all have been briefed about what to do yesterday. And uh, I think now we just have to uh, discuss about what you guys have uh, uh, understand so far. What have you done so far? Uh, anyone? And you, you had the discussion with uh, uh, the lady yesterday, Tolu, right? So uh, how, how, how far have you guys gone? What have you, really, what have you started? Who wants to, who want to, who want to uh, give us something? So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, uh, so yesterday was a very busy day. Like we've been on Jimmy all day, right? So uh, yesterday just uh, we spent the whole day trying to understand the challenge. Uh, and my team and I, we had our first meeting this morning just before the stand up. Uh, so we agreed on just the, mani the, manager, the managerial roles. So we've selected uh, teammates to supervise the team, uh, to keep time and to take notes. Uh, we have three roles. We've also uh, talked about how we understood the challenge and we've somehow reached uh, an agreement, but there are a lot of things, a lot of things that are not clear uh, right now. Uh, so we agreed to have another meeting this afternoon after uh, just doing our own research on what's required and just advising um, so that's what we agreed upon so yeah so the challenge uh, looks interesting it's not it's not clear what's required what we should do uh, right now or how we should do it but I think we're on the uh, right track and I think that's uh, how every project starts so yeah it's going great well. okay thank you uh, of course, uh, it's it's not easy to deal with uh, uh, a full-blown project. You know, this is like a kind of a project where you want to uh, assess some, like find a kind of solution to uh, problems here in Africa. So it's uh, generally pro project, uh, project management is not an easy thing. So you just have to uh, outline what you really want to solve, how you want to approach uh, uh, the problem and um, I believe everything will work out and with uh, your with your team team you are not alone right so with your team you can easily manage and uh, uh, divide the works the work amid amidst yourself and uh, just take it bit by bit so who else wants to uh, give a kind of uh, what you've done so far how you you've tried to understand uh, divide the work amongst yourself uh maybe we should should we should we suggest oh patrick so someone is suggesting patrick i think i saw patrick online All right good morning. good morning good morning yeah um so I and my team, we had our third meeting this morning, just before the stand-up. Um, we have been making quite a number of progress. Um, it's been great working with them. Um, so we've, we, we've all tested our Twitter API. We've confirmed it's working. Um, so we have set deliverables for the day. Um, we intend using Kanban to manage our project deliverables um, 
we already have our repo where all of us are pushing to then each person has a folder in the repo and stuff so we all, we all have deliverables for the day and primarily is to just query twitter data based on different parameters that we've agreed upon and then from there we look at data cleaning then the idea is also to get more familiar with um, twitter api documentation and so we, we already we, we also try to envisage um the end goal for so we are trying to work from we're trying to work um we're trying to start from the end so we, we say okay at the end of the day what is the ultimate deliverable so we've been able to identify that we are still iterating on that as well um then based on that um we expect to get more stuff done thank you uh, nice 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 uh, nice outline thank you very much patrick uh we have uh gerard uh good morning everyone good morning yeah so uh actually uh yesterday was indeed a busy day as usual all mondays are usually full of meetings uh but i'm glad we, we were, i was able to meet my teammates we had uh, we had two meetings yesterday we were able to like delegate tasks to different team members and also we decided like we were going to find out like maybe keywords or any other uh data that we could use for the for this week's project and we are, we are scheduled to meet after after this talk today and share our findings then we have we develop like an approach on how to actually solve the problem so i really say that it's uh we are doing well so far the questions that you are not sure we asked and uh, we got feedback uh we are yet to fully understand the challenge but i'm sure after the meeting today we'll have like uh, a strategy on how to solve the challenge so uh thank you and i think that i really have good and nice teammates okay good thank you very much uh i think i i went too far i should have uh, uh called on ada ada uh, morning, guys. Good morning. So, so far, so good. We've had two meetings with my team. I am really glad. Uh, my team members are really nice. We've delegated the duties, and today, um, uh, like at the end of the day, we'll have another meeting to see how far we've progressed, and then that's like the the trend. So, I'm really looking forward to the challenge and the outcome thank you okay thank you uh so uh also we have uh uh ken um we are from um we, are, we have had a meeting with my team no with the team so but like it was actually before this stand up so like we are we are planning on having another meeting after the stand up so that we can just have like everything in order the the main 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 purpose is to have everyone on the same boat like ensure that um we all know what the end goal is and then we are planning on on now on the on the next meeting we are planning on now um dividing the tasks into who will do what now yeah okay right. uh, thank you very much uh so far uh like uh one one member has spoken from uh about how many groups now five groups yeah five groups so i think there's still one group left and it will be fine if we have uh one volunteer also from that group so the group is uh food quantity and the group members are Emmanuel, Glory, Combo, Muluwak, Nabil, and Wamuyu. So, Muluwak, okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, good morning. Yeah, we have uh, two meetings so far. Uh, the one was yesterday, and we have discussed, uh, we have introduced with each other yesterday, and uh, we name we our teams yesterday and uh, we just introduced ourselves yesterday in the study meeting but 
uh, also we have a meeting before these stand-ups and the, in that stand-up we have discussed uh, how the challenges come along in the coming t times and uh, we divide the roles uh, along the team members and uh, we 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 also discussed how the challenges how can we deal with the challenges for for the interims and uh, we assign different roles for different uh, team members that's what i've discussed so far thank you thank you thank you very much uh, uh there is uh uh, Stephanie here. I believe Patrick also, but if you have anything to add, Stephanie, to what uh, Patrick already uh, mentioned, because you guys are group members, I believe. I think he mentioned everything, um, a rough overview of what you're working on, so I don't think I'll add anything. So far, so good. Um, we're making progress, and we hope to have met the deliverables by today evening, so yes. Okay, so I don't have to call on Claire anymore because uh, you Claire also is from uh, Stephanie and Patrick uh, Patrick's uh, group. Uh, so I, I have uh, something to say. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm very sorry. So, <laughs> so as we were discussing, my team and I we have a question. Okay. So we were wondering if we can use multi-threading in this. Uh, challenge so that we can get multiple tweets for one keyword. Uh, you mean multi-trading? Hello? Hello. I, I, can you please repeat that? We were wondering whether we can use multi-trading for this challenge. Uh so that you can generate multiple tweets for one keyword. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, I, I won't say one thing now because uh, I'm really not sure. So, but uh, I think I'll, I'll look into that and probably get back to you guys if, okay. uh, if that is also good to, to, to consider. Okay. Thank you. So any anyone else, anyone else have anything to add to support uh, your group uh, members that have already spoken? Okay, I think nothing. Okay, uh, uh, Prosper, do you have anything to, to say? Okay, um, for my side, I don't have much. Um, I would say for those who haven't sent in the uh, assignment for the community building uh, of this week, kindly do that. It's been sent on the EG class to so try and then complete it. But apart from that, I'm looking forward to this day's um, AMA with Elvis and then enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, thank you. Uh, for now, I, I'm not sure if uh, there will be any session uh, maybe in the afternoon with uh, Jean or, or Yabibao, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, you guys will receive uh, information if there will be any. And uh, I think uh, Today is supposed to be like an uh, interim submission, but I don't think there's any submission per se. It's just, uh, uh, just making sure you guys are working well with, uh, uh, with the little information you, 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 you've been provided and uh, making sure that everything is uh, working well and on point. So uh, I think uh, that's all from my side here. If there is no other question, we can uh proceed to the AMA, AMA with uh Elvis right so any yeah. any other question before we move to AMA uh it's not a question it's more of a request okay 
So can we have a tutorial on like um, general sentiment analysis with Python? Maybe that's possible. Sentiment analysis with Python. Yeah. Uh, okay. I I think I think I have uh, I have a code on that, but uh, it's somehow complicated. So I'll 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 get back to you guys on the on the Slack channel if I I can easily prepare something today. If not, then it will be tomorrow. Uh, uh, Usman, just yep. a question. Uh, okay. Just on that, uh, I was thinking uh, like uh, the Twitter. The since you're using Twitter API, the Twitter normally returns maybe uh, like a field with uh, like sentiment or something so are we using that or are we supposed to like actually now like extract uh, the sentiment from the tweets uh to, to be sincere with you guys i i'm also still thinking hard about the about the uh the task the, the, this week this week's uh task so i even if i say something now it will be what i personally perceive it's not i don't have uh a strong uh, 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 reason for whatever I'll be saying now. So let me just uh, go back and, and make sure I digest the, the task very well and probably come up with something. Then I'll be able to uh, to give you more insights about it. Good? OK, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Binyamin, for your request, I believe tomorrow we, we should be able to do something on the sent sentiment analysis. I'll make sure I prepare well today and maybe give something a bit about it tomorrow. So, uh, any other question? So, uh, I, I think we just moved to the Ask Me Anything with Elvis. So Elvis, are you prepared? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, Elvis, can we see your face if possible? Then we can start. <laughs> All yeah. right. All right, Elvis, if you can hear me, who is Elvis? <laughs> okay, uh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is David Elvis Combo, and uh, Elvis is a young, God-fearing, uh, hard-working uh, gentleman, and uh, he lives in Nairobi and schools at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Yeah. Okay. Why are you so handsome? Man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's God's work. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about growing up. About? Come again? Growing up. Tell us about growing up in Nairobi. Okay. Uh, uh, growing up in Nairobi uh, wasn't easy for me. And, uh, well, the ups and downs that a family can go through, uh, of which you all understand. So it wasn't easy for me. But uh, one thing that um, keeps me is... Uh, my mom, my parents, my siblings, uh, yeah, they, 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 they were so influential for me to make it through here where I am, yeah. Okay, so we can move to the chat box to pick some questions. Okay, so, <laughs> Juja Boy is in the house, yes, Gerald, um, uh, our school is in Juja, yeah. So, what can you tell 
us about your classmates in university. So where what's the internal academy? What's the internal academy? What's the internal academy that you know that we don't know? Okay, I don't know about them. <laughs> so my classmates in internal academy, they're so wonderful and uh, and take this from me. I I really value all of you and uh, hold you into my heart uh, so much. So you are all wonderful, uh, everyone, everyone. Tasca or Guinness, I don't do any. What's your favorite food? So my favorite food is uh, pumpkin soup and uh, brown chapatis, I like that. Elvis, what's your talent? So, <laughs> well, <laughs> honestly, uh, my talent is in teaching. I just love teaching. Um, it's it's uh, it's connected to me trying to help people and mostly young people. So, I love teaching young people and uh, also exhorting them. Uh, advising them or about life things and all that so that's that's why i really love teaching yeah so why titu or sonko <laughs> man so <laughs> i would go for sonko uh not because he's good not because he's intelligent but because at least yes he's not a straight man but he tries to help people in Nairobi and uh, he has many incentives that help young people, even the street children. So I would go for him. How do you spend your free time? I spend my free time in uh, um, reading books and uh, yeah, reading books and also uh, having a chat with my brother so and the books i like reading are mostly um okay currently i'm reading these two books the first one is uh, why your 20s matter and also um another one it's about marriage <laughs> yeah just preparing about uh the marriage thing so and relationships so i'm reading a book that is called it's an it's not about who you marry, but why you marry. So that's those are the books I'm reading currently, and that's how I spend my free time. How many kids would you like to have? Honestly, I have never thought of that, uh, but I would love to have uh, four kids. It's because my family, we are four. <laughs> uh, we are two ladies and two gents, so I would love to keep uh, the pace. <laughs> Do you prefer the city or the countryside? I prefer countryside. I have grown in the city and uh, honestly, uh, I don't love the city so much. I just love countryside where there is nature because I love nature and I love where I can have my private life yeah just because i'm an introvert yeah so what do you love the most about kenya okay um i just love kenya because of the most part of kenya it's um uh, it's green most part of kenya it's green and uh, i just love that fact and uh, and also, I love Kenya because Kenya has many pre uh, brilliant people, but uh, of course, the opportunities are less for them. But yeah, that's that's why I love Kenya, the green part and the people, the brilliant people. What do you hate about Kenya? Uh, corruption. <laughs> I just hate corruption and the leaders we have. The leaders are, are not a educated they are just illiterate and they are leading styles mm -mm, i don't love 
So what are your aspirations in life? Yes, yeah, Stephanie. <laughs> so first is uh, I aspire to be uh, loving, caring, and faithful husband and and uh, husband and father, and uh, also to make change in the world. Not anywhere where I am, anyone who is around me, I would love to influence them. Uh, Positively, yeah, positively, and help them. What do you want Africa to have to be independent? Because I know Africa can can sustain. We, we can sustain ourselves without really um, depending on the the European countries and such things. We can produce our own, and yeah, we can build Africa ourselves, but. Yeah, but it's unfortunate that, yeah, but we are added there. So what do you want to be remembered for? <laughs> I want to be remembered first as, uh, as, as, as a father who, yeah, my generation coming, coming generations, I want to be remembered as a father who was faithful and caring and loving and, uh, and le a leader. A leader in the family and also I want to be remembered as someone who influenced the young people to to make right choices and also to to know themselves to 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 identify themselves and uh, make the best come out of them make the best come out of them yeah so what keeps you up at night <laughs> okay um Mostly it's reading, reading. I always read at night. Uh, and that's because the influence of my brother, we get, we are just in the house reading together. And yeah, that keeps me at night. So reading and, uh, and some time listening to presentations. I mean, uh, listening to talks. Yeah, I always listen to talks from people, great people, yeah about different subjects. So what would you tell us about your classmates in your university that are also in Ten Academy? Do you know them personally before Ten Academy? <laughs> uh, Emmanuel, I don't have a classmate, but I have a schoolmate. So, and she, uh, two, two of them actually, uh, but one um, finished, that's Bessie, and the other one is Stephanie. So I didn't know Stephanie uh, before Ten Academy. Actually, even in Ten Academy, I knew her, I think when we were in the sixth or seventh week, that's when I knew we come from the same school, yeah. So, and uh, she's nice and hardworking, yeah. What TV shows are you into? Biniam, the last time I watched TV, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, but when I watch TV, uh, I watch documentaries, not Geo mostly. That's, that's what I am to. Who do you look up to? I look up to my brother. <laughs> My big bro, yeah, he's such a nice person. I look up to him in everything, yeah. Why do you work so hard? Yes, um, well, I will answer this in this way. Sometimes someone told me that um, the reason why I wake up every day, not because I'm good, not because I've done something great, but it's because there's someone who needs me. Uh, yes, that someone may not come now, but in the future, there's someone who needs my help. So that could be my family. That could be a friend. That could be someone or 
any street children that I don't know. So that's why I always work hard because I know there's someone who needs me, who needs my help, who needs my advice, and even who needs my, yeah, my steps to follow as as we journey on. So that that makes me to work hard. What TV series did you last watch? Uh, Emmanuel, I answered that. What country do you like to visit the most? Um, I would love to visit uh, Come on, come on. <laughs> yes, I would love to visit uh, South Africa because of uh, uh, mostly the presentations I listen to, most of the speakers come from South Africa and also, uh, yeah, reading about South Africa and the technology there, AI and all that in Africa, that, that that's what I'm, the country that it's nearest. So I would love to visit there and get more uh get more insights on this um so how religious are you um i'm god fearing and uh yeah at what age do you plan to marry <laughs> emmanuel um well i'm young actually um i'm 21 years old uh i turned 21 this year on june so i'm young and uh does not hit me in my mind but i would love to get married when i'm 26 yeah 26 so i have close to five four years of preparing <laughs> yeah how many languages do you speak i speak uh, three languages the first one is my native language kisi and the second one is kiswahili and third one is english do you have do you have a favorite Nigerian musician? If yes, name him or her. I don't. Yeah, I have. Well, the name, the name, the name. Come on. <laughs> Apparently, I've forgotten. But I have. I have someone from Nigeria I always listen to. Yeah. I'm sorry. I will remember and tell you. Do you want to be famous? No, I don't want to be famous. But uh, Elvis loves background life, and uh, I'm an introvert. I always don't love to be in the forefront. So I always don't want to be famous because uh, managing and tension, I, I always don't want that. But, uh, I, just, I, just, I just want to be in the background and help from the background and make things happen from the background. What do you think about accents in Africa? Which country accent do you like the most in Africa? Oga. <laughs> Oga, yeah, I like that. And uh, yeah, and I just remember at first how I, uh, when Ten Academy began, how I used to enjoy hearing you guys talk. Yeah, so I just love that accent, Nigerian. What do you want to do for your parents? Yeah. Especially my mom, especially my mom, I I just want to make them happy, put a smile on them, and give them a reason to live, to see my, to see their grandchildren, and uh, yeah, so that that's what I would I would want to do for my parents, make them happy. Introvert or extrovert? I'm an introvert. Yeah. Phlegmatic, choleric. Uh, what's your first? What's your first month plan after we finish the ten academy training? So, uh, the first month is if we will have not uh, gone back to school. Um, the first month is to. I can say. Uh, job hunting, job hunting, and also uh, cleaning, cleaning my mind of what I've been studying. Uh, yeah, like revising and getting myself to 
to know really uh, where I am and yeah, also aligning to the two-year plan. So what's your dream car? My dream car, wild truck, wild truck. Yeah, that's my dream car. And the second after that is Ilaxaf, Ilaxaf. I love cars. <laughs> Do you know how to dance? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know how to dance. Prosper. <laughs> have you failed in any of your courses in the university? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, well, it's called, it's a unit called Mathematics for Science. Well, I didn't fail, like failing, but I, I got an E because I missed uh, a cut. I missed a cut, but I didn't fail because I didn't read for it or any. Yeah, so I missed a cut, and the lecturer was cruel to give me an E on that. Yeah, but from there, I've never failed any unit. Would you consider a career in radio or TV? No, 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 I wouldn't because I don't want to be famous and known and such. Yeah. How do you intend to make use of the training after now? First is uh, the training I have received, I should be able to help someone because right now I have a wider view of the job market uh, in regards to data science. I also, also I have a wide view of how mathematics and statistics and such applies in the outside world. So first is to help my classmates, maybe who don't know where to apply mathematics, who don't know where to go after school and such. And also second is to, uh, yeah, to, to find a job and, and have an impact 10 times, yeah. <laughs> Anastasia, I didn't know. <laughs> now we are three or four. Yeah, we are three of us from JQuad. Oh, great, nice. <laughs> so what peculiar thing motivates you? <laughs> Biniam, <laughs> for you is taking a shower. Mm. Ah, peculiar thing that motivates me. I don't know. I don't know. Binium, I don't know. I will. I will take some time thinking that. What's your favorite YouTube channel? My favorite is uh, uh, come on. I have a lot. I have a lot. But my favorite is uh, well called Fountain View Academy. Fountain View Academy, it's an academy, so you can go look for it. What kind of music do you listen to? Uh, I don't know, I don't know how to answer this, but I also, I always listen to Christian music mostly because yeah, that's the only music I love and it makes me to reflect and meditate and such. So, yeah, but from that, no. Who is your favorite leader in Binyam in, in, which, uh, in which scope? Africa, the world, or if it's in the whole world, um, I love Nelson Mandela. Yeah, he's late, but I love him. Elvis, do you know what? I was born June 3rd. <laughs> oh, okay. I, for me, I was born in June 23rd. 23rd. So, how do you balance work and life? Well, I... Setting yourself a timetable is and also uh, knowing the pillars, the pillars that we have, that's, yes, work is good, 
but also there's my life, my health, my family. Yeah, and that's that's basically my social life. So uh trying to balance the both uh by time with its own. It's time to work. Yes, there's a day and there's time for congregating with my family, my friends and such. Yeah. Mikali, Mikali, please. <laughs> Mikali, I answered what motivates me to work. I, okay, I can repeat for your sake. I said it's because there's someone who needs me. It may not be now, but in the future. Someone who needs my advice. Someone who needs uh, my directions. Someone who, needs, who also needs my footsteps to walk on. So that keeps me to work hard and help someone. The young people, street children, and my friends. <laughs> oh, can you swim? Yeah, but the last time I swam was, uh, I think, five years ago. <laughs> Favorite spot to hang. Anastasia, is it in regards to Jaquat? Or, <laughs> okay. Jquat, Jquat, even I answer Jquat. Many people don't know Jquat, but um, uh, yes, I can say I I don't have I don't hang out so much. I'm always indoors. Yeah, so introverted life. Can you sing? Yes, I can sing. Yes, I can sing. Can you dance? I cannot dance. What do you think about your society? Well, uh, my society, there's a lot that needs to be done. Um, there's a lot that needs to be done. But yes, we cannot, we cannot change everything. But you and me can change something by beginning from where we are. The people around you, the people around me, the young people that I hang out with, I can start from there and that will go uh, a long way to making an impact. So my friends and such. So if I uh, influence a friend to positive thinking, the friend influ influences another friend and that, and the society will be a good, a good place. I can say, uh, where, where, where was I? So what sports are you into? Cycling, yeah, cycling. I do cycling. That's what I like in sports. <laughs> Sing for us. <laughs> Another time, I didn't prepare for that. I promise. Yeah. Next CBA, I will sing. Yeah, next CBA, I will sing. Remind me that prosper. Uh. <laughs> Sing, 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 sing. <laughs> Do you think you are a motivational speaker? Ah, well. I'm a silent motivational speaker, if there's such. Because, yes, I, I love exhorting and advising, and uh, but I don't love being famous, so I help in the background. Uh, yeah, actually... Most of my friends, many of my friends tell me that, oh, I should consider being a motivational speaker, but I just help from the background and, yeah, I love helping. Are you single? Hey, Ada, I knew, I knew. <laughs> yes, I am, and uh, I'm not planning to be in any relationship any soon. Twitter or Instagram, Twitter, the most thing you a fear of oh okay i fear hurting someone i love uh, be it my family and friend so i fear that uh, i don't like that insecurities <laughs> i don't know <laughs> ah, i don't know stephanie i will answer that do you think and topic 
Do you think an topic society can be attained? Well, Mikali, that word, I mean, come on. English is not my, <laughs> I'm not uh, so well in English, but just maybe if you can do me a favor and make it a little bit layman's language, I can answer that. We can't wait to hear you seeing. Yes, I will. <laughs> what do you want to have at the end of the day? Made progress? Made progress, yeah. At the end of the day, I would love to make progress and also grow and also grow. A New Testament or Old Testament? <laughs> Kebo! All, 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 yeah, all. An ideal perfect place, especially. Oh, yeah, thank you, Stephanie. Mm, you come, Andy. So, uh, now answering Mwikali's question, I don't think we can achieve, I don't think we can attain that. Yeah, I am pretty sure we can't attain that because, well, just track uh, from back then, the society was a bit good, but it's not getting any better. And I don't think it will get any better. But that doesn't mean that we should do something. So we should do something in our areas, but I don't think we can attain a perfect place. Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't. Why don't you want to be in a relationship anytime soon? <laughs> well, right now, I'm preparing uh, this way. Uh, right now, basically, I'm um, reading books, watching talks about relationship and such. And actually, what I can say about it is I'm not ready to make an investment of my feelings, uh, my time, and yeah, and my intelligence. Yeah, it needs a lot. And I want, when I give it a shot, I we I give it my all. I don't want to, oh, try this and go nini. But I, I want just to prepare enough and so that when I get into one, I, I will make someone his daughter happy. <laughs> if you are an animal, what would you be? <laughs> well, um, dolphin, dolphin, a mammal in water because I've watched a documentary about that and uh, uh, Dolphin loves helping and well, even you can go search and you see their clips of Dolphin helping people in water. Yeah, so I really like that animal because I love helping. Montreal <laughs> speakers in Nigeria will ask you to pick the <laughs> Piwa. Or applied math. Applied math. Do you cook? Yeah, I love cooking. Biniam, I love cooking. Yeah, I love cooking. Stefan or Ada, I don't answer that. All of them are good. I said everyone in Ten Academy is good. It's just I love you guys, all of you. What are some challenges you think the next generation will face? Ah, many. First is these challenges recur and the challenges that we are facing right now, high chances they will recur in the next generation. And uh, yeah, plus other ones that will come. So all of the challenges we have now, they will be there. What percentage of Kenya have you visited? Say, Say 20%? Yeah, 20%. Okay. Favorite place in Kenya. Kisi. <laughs> Kisi. <laughs> Kisi, yeah. <laughs> Gerald, Gerald. <laughs> Anastasia, have you been in a relationship before? <laughs> ah. I can't say really a relationship, but it was. Have you, yes or no? 
it's a follow up question. Yes or no? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lawal. Um. Yes. Yes. If you weren't Kenyan, what would you be worldwide? A Tanzanian. Tanzanian. Yeah. Gerald, no, I don't want your advice. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got this. What do you know about Rwanda? Rwanda, cool place. Yeah, I have those imaginations. Uh, <laughs> brown people, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As in ladies, they are uh, brown. The friends I've met, they are brown. Yeah, so, and also the genocide, yeah. Karatasia Queen Cake, I'm a Maze Chipaya Yogurt, say Kosawa. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I would go for yogurt. Can't please tr translate. Yeah. Then <laughs> he's still like it. Let him read first. Ada, 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 I'm not that. Oh, a kid to say, I'm 21, shoot one and take one home. Stephanie Ada. <laughs> Adnan. <laughs> no answer for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No answer for that. Paula. <laughs> Queen cake pepper a bottle of yogurt. <laughs> bottle of yogurt, I took that. Have you ever been depressed? How do you deal with how do you deal with stress? Yes, I've been um you can say depressed, stressed, and uh, it was because well I'm introverted and most of the time I don't like talking to someone because I think I will be burdening someone, so I just keep it to myself and uh, and I came to realize when I just saw the results, it was too eight and all that, but I came over it and I'm good now, I'm good now. And I learned to keep a friend and uh, be ever confident who I can, I can, yeah. <laughs> Anastasia, it was when I was young, Anastasia, I was young, I was in high school, barely know nothing, yeah. What do you think is different about you, like someone you are proud of? Manuel, Manuel, big man. Okay. Different about me. Uh, okay, something that I'm proud of myself is uh, mm -hmm. Trying as much as possible to put someone else in the forefront before me. Yeah. That's something I'm proud of myself. Trying to put some someone before me. Combo. Is there a reason why they are asking a lot of questions? Question. They're not fast. <laughs> I didn't see that. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Last two questions for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot one and slap one. <laughs> we carry or other. I'm sorry, I don't have a question to that. I'm sorry, Emmanuel. Just love everyone in Tun Academy. Watch TV or read a book. <laughs> um, I love watching, but watching documentaries and such. iPhone or Android? Android. Have a night out or evening in evening in <laughs> what changed what changed after an academy do you doubt yourself binyam binyam i'm not getting you well no no there are two separate questions though the first one is what really changed after you joined ten academy not like after you complete the training okay but uh, okay. yeah What changed is uh, my time, 
uh, there before ten, uh, after uh, before I joined Ten Academy, I I wasn't I I, I I didn't give much time into studying and progressing in t- data science. Um, I would struggle to concentrate uh, because maybe someone wants uh, giving attention to friends and all that. But after I joined Ten Academy and um, I gave my all into uh, progressing my career and my friends were like, oh, Elvis, where are you? Where are you? But yeah, that's what changed. So yeah. Do you doubt yourself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Many times I do. Many times I do. Because I, mostly I, I always don't want to underperform, I can say. So I doubt myself so much sometimes, but I'm looking for a solution. DM me if you have a solution for that. What do you think prepared you for life or we? Okay, nice question. How what prepared me for life? Staying with my brother. Yeah, that prepared me for life. And also my mom, uh, living most of the time with my mom, that prepared me for life. Staying with my brother, uh, stayed with him and he had gone to university apparently jquat so yeah yeah he's far before me so giving me directions that prepared me for life yeah going through the hard times with him you know that time maybe he wasn't stable in job and yeah we could struggle getting our way through that prepared me for life and i'm good i think i see myself far yeah and i thank god for that High school doesn't count from now on. It's cool to say you've never did it. Yeah, I've never, I've never from my school, I've never in my in university, I've never. Come on, Baba, for the girls. Nice. Questions are done. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, last one. Movie or dinner? Asking for a friend. A dinner. Dinner. Because, uh, well, movie will not have time to talk. And I always love talking. Candid talks, yeah. So I would go for dinner. Yeah, because we'll have time to talk as we eat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so thank this you guys. Is, this is one of this is one of the CBAs I have I have been looking forward to. And I think Combo, your composure and your approach was pretty fun. We had a good time with you. Tomorrow will be super awesome with Jeanette. Jeanette, if you're on, uh you scheduled for tomorrow. Other case scheduled for Friday. Thursday we have Emmanuel. So do get ready and prepare your questions where with your self-doubt that would give you up for many opportunities like Benny Yam says explore don't be afraid that would lead you to discover much about yourself so I think you skipped the last question I asked you Usman Prosper or Arun <laughs> oh sorry sorry I didn't see that Usman Prosper or Hey, I'm sorry, Prosper. <laughs> I love everyone in Ten Academy. <laughs> I just like everyone. That, yeah, that's 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 the, that's that's good and diplomacy for you. <laughs> All yeah. right, guys. I I hope those of you who has been scheduled for the one-on-one session, please make time for it. If you haven't, um, I don't know if I could get the link for you. I will share the link in the Slack some uh, weeks back. So if you can find the link to schedule yourself for the coming week, that'd be great. But apart from that, I look forward to getting to talk with you guys um, later in the day as well. All right, bye guys. Bye.